Welcome back to Askewed Reviews, and since we're currently between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I thought it would be very appropriate to do a movie series that is all about family. And of course, that series I'm referring to is The Fast and the Furious. So today we are starting with the 2001 film, The Fast and the Furious. Here is your trivia question for today. What does Brian always eat at Toretto's Market and Cafe? The answer will be at the end of this video. So our film starts off in 2004, where we are currently in Los Angeles, California. It's here we meet our main character, Brian O'Connor, who not only works at an auto parts store, but spends his free time doing street racing. Now, in actuality, Brian is actually an undercover police officer trying to get in good with the street racers, because apparently there have been a few that recently have been hijacking stuff from semi-trucks. So Brian, along with the LAPD and the FBI, are trying to figure out who it is so they can capture them and stop them. So the group that Brian decides to become friends with is the Toretto family, led by Dominic Toretto. Unfortunately for Brian, he begins to get a strong connection with the group, so much so that he starts to have feelings for Dom's sister, Mia. To make matters worse, Brian seems to get caught in the middle of a gang rivalry between the Toretto's and Johnny Tran and his group. So will Brian's secret be revealed, or will he get so close to them that he ends up becoming family? This movie was directed by Rob Cohen. He also managed to sneak in a small cameo as he plays the pizza delivery driver near the beginning. The concept for this movie actually was based on a 1998 issue of Vibe magazine, where there was an article called Racer X that chronicled the illegal street racing circuit in New York City. Now, we of course know this series as The Fast and the Furious, and that's mainly due to the fact that they purchased the rights for that title from a movie from 1954 with the same name. Other names they were considering were Racer X, Redline, Race Wars, and Street Wars. The movie takes place in California, and it was filmed there. Most of the main characters in this film had a lot of actors up for the roles. Apparently, Michelle Rodriguez was pretty much a shoe in though, for the character of Letty. Paul Walker plays the character of Brian, but other actors up for that role were Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale, and even Eminem. Vin Diesel plays Dominic Toretto, but that role was originally offered to both Timothy Oliphant and Colin Farrell. Jordana Brewster plays Mia Toretto, but that role could have also gone to Eliza Dushku, Natalie Portman, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Kirsten Dunst, Bijou Phillips, or Jessica Biel. Apparently, neither Michelle Rodriguez nor Jordana Brewster actually had their driver's licenses or learner's permits before production of this film. Here's something I found highly amusing that I don't know if it's actually true, but I hope it is. Apparently, director Rob Cohen originally wanted to do a bit of a Save by the Bell reunion for this movie, as he apparently wanted to cast Mark Paul Gosler as Ryan, Mario Lopez as Dom, and Dustin Diamond as Jesse, but apparently the studio turned down the idea. Also, while talking about director Rob Cohen, we can't forget to mention that he actually slipped in one of his own movies into this film. When everyone is doing a movie night, the movie that they're actually watching is Dragon, the Bruce Lee story from 1993, which Cohen also directed. Also, speaking about movies that are connected to this one, the house that the FBI uses in the film was used one year prior in the movie Hanging Up. The Volkswagen Jetta that Jesse drives in this film was actually later purchased by actor Frankie Muniz. The 1970 Dodge Charger that Dom drives at the end reappears in the opening scene of the movie Herbie Fully Loaded at the junkyard. That first race that occurs at the beginning of the film, even though it takes about two minutes in the movie, would normally take about 10 seconds in real life as it was about a quarter mile. In the scene that takes place at Race Wars, which in my opinion was horribly named, there are over 1,500 cars. In the last truck heist that occurs at the end of the film, there is an actual well-known actor who is playing the truck driver, even though you can't really see him too well. That actor is Kevin Smith, and you probably know him a bit better as Ares from both shows Hercules and Xena. Here's something I'm going to be doing throughout this entire series. It's what I call the family counter. And for this film, the word family is said twice. Once by Sergeant Tanner, and the second time by Johnny Tran. So when it comes to the film The Fast and the Furious, 
I do enjoy this, and of course this was the start of an entire franchise. Now I will say it's not the best movie in the series, and it's also not the worst, so I feel like it's appropriate to give this one a 3 out of 5. Now if you really enjoyed this film, you of course have lots of other options. There are tons of movies in the franchise. There is an animated series, which is not actually connected to the rest of the films. A whole bunch of different video games that you can play. A couple different board games. And there's even a few different roller coasters that you can try out that are based on the movies. Now, as for the trivia question from the beginning of this episode, what does Brian always eat at Toretto's Market and Cafe? While at the cafe, Brian always orders the tuna on white with no crust, even though everyone says it's terrible. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Askewed Reviews, and if there's a movie you'd like to see get a review, just mention it in the comments.